Good day students, welcome to our last topic for the coverage for the prelim exam. The last topic will be the science and technology agencies in the Philippines. If we talk about science and technology, we are referring to the Department of Science and Technology since this is the governing body but what are the agencies under the Department of Science and Technology and what are these three sectors under the DOSD? If you talk about Department of Science and Technology, is the premier science and technology body in the country charged with a twin mandate of providing central direction, leadership, and coordination of all scientific and technological activities and of formulating policies, programs, and projects to support national development. There are three sectoral council under the Department of Science and Technology, namely sectoral planning, research and development, institutes, and lastly, scientific and technological service institutes. Each sectoral council under the Department of Science and Technology have individual agencies and each agencies have different functions. In sectoral planning council, this is responsible in formulating policies, plans, programs, projects, and strategies for science and technology development, programming and allocating funds, monitoring of research and development projects, and for generating external funds. The first agency under sectoral planning is the PCARD or the Philippine Council for Agriculture, Aquatic and Natural Resources Development. No? The Philippine Council for Agriculture, Aquatic and Natural Resources Research and Development is one of the sectoral councils under the Department of Science and Technology. It was formed through the consolidation of the Philippine Council for Agriculture, Forestry and Natural Resources Research and Development and the Philippine Council for Aquatic and Marine Research and Development on June 22, 2011, pursuant to Executive Order Number 366. In all concerns and researches under agriculture, aquatic, and natural resources, PICARD is responsible on it or it has the power to act if problem arises. The second agency under the sectoral planning is the PCHRD or the Philippine Council for Health, Research and Development. So the Philippine Council for Health, Research and Development is one of the three sectoral councils of the Department of Science and Technology. It is a forward-looking partnership-based national body responsible for coordinating and monitoring research activities in the country. So PCHRD is a lead council that creates and sustains an enabling environment for health research in the country. The last agency under the sectoral planning is the PCIRD or the PCIEERD or the Philippine Council for Industry, Energy and Emerging Technology Research. The Philippine Council for Industry, Energy, and Emerging Technology Research and Development is one of the three sectoral planning councils of the Department of Science and Technology. It is mandated to serve as a central agency in the formulation of policies, plans, and programs, as well as in the implementation of strategies in the industry, energy, and emerging technology sectors through the following science and technology programs, such as support for research and development, human resource and institution development, and so on. The PSHIRD is mandated to serve as the central agency in the development of policies, plans, and programs, as well as in implementation of strategies in the industry, energy, and emerging technology sectors. The second sectoral council agency under the Department of Science and Technology is the Research and Development Institute. So it has seven agencies. So what are these seven agencies? The first agency under the Research and Development Institute is Advanced Science and Technology Institute or ASTI. The Advanced Science and Technology Institute is an agency of the Department of Science and Technology mandated to undertake research and development activities aimed at strengthening and modernizing information and communications, technology, and microelectronics. The Department of Science and Technology Advanced Science and Technology Institute continues to dedicate itself to delivering technology solutions in support of a productive and resilient Filipino society. So, 
ASTE or this Advanced Science and Technology is one of the research and development institutes of the Department of Science and Technology tasked in conducting scientific research and development in the advanced fields of information and communications, technology, and microelectronics. So the second agency under the Research and Development Institute is the FNRI or the Food and Nutrition Research Institute. The Food and Nutrition Research Institute is an agency in the Philippines that provides data, information, and products to combat malnutrition in the country using scientifically sound, environmentally friendly, and globally competitive technologies. FNRI works towards strengthening Filipinos, both socially and economically with optimal nutrition. FNRI is the principal research arm of the government in food and nutrition, is one of the research and development institutes of the Department of Science and Technology. The institute continues to provide relevant technologies and scientific information on food and nutrition. The third agency under the Research and Development Institute is the FPRDI or the Forest Product Research and Development Institute. It generates, improve, and transfer appropriate technologies and information on efficient utilization of forest-based products to make local industries more competitive in the domestic and global markets and to benefit the general public. The F the FPRDI is the research and development arm on forest products utilization of the Philippines, Department of Science and Technology, the body that coordinates and manages the national science and technology system. The fourth agency under the Research and Development Institute is the ITDI or the Industrial Technology Development Institute. The ITDI is among the instrumentalities that laid the groundwork in the early years for science and technology in the country. Today, it is one of the DOST's uh, research and development institutes and undertakes multidisciplinary industrial research and development, technical services, and knowledge translation of technology transfer and commercialization. The ITDI is one of the research and development institutes under the Department of Science and Technology. It is the flagship agency of the department, generating a large pool of technologies while providing technological services in the industry. The fifth agency under the Research and Development Institute is the MIRDC, or the Methyl Industry Research and Development Center. The Metals Industry Research and Development Center is an agency of the Department of Science and Technology, is the sole government entity directly supporting the metals and engineering industry with services designed to enhance its competitive advantage. So, MIRDC is the sole government entity directly supporting the metals and engineering industry with services designed to enhance its competitive advantage. The sixth agency under Research and Development Institute is the PNRI or the Philippine Nuclear Research Institute. Undertake research and development activities in the peaceful uses of nuclear energy to institute regulations on the said uses and to carry out the enforcement of said regulations to protect the health and safety of radiation workers and the general public. The PNRI is mandated to undertake research and development activities in the peaceful uses of nuclear energy to institute regulations uh, to institute regulations on the said users and to carry out the enforcement of said regulations to protect the health and safety of radiation workers and the general public. The seventh and the last agency under the Research and Development Institute is the PTRI or the Philippine Textile Research Institute. The Philippine Textile Research Institute is a premier textile research and development arm of the Department of Science and Technology. PTRI as a line agency of the Department of Science and Technology supports the local textile and allied industries achieve global competitiveness 
through utilization of indigenous resources and development of technical competence in textile production and quality assurance. The third and last sectoral council agency under the Department of Science and Technology is the Scientific and Technological Service Institute, and it has five agencies. So the first agency under the Scientific and Technological Service Institute is the PAGASA, or the Philippine Atmospheric Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration. PAGASA, one of the attached agencies of the Department of Science and Technology under its Scientific and Technical Services Institutes, is mandated to provide protection against natural calamities and utilize scientific knowledge as an effective instrument to ensure the safety, well-being, and economic security of all the people and for the promotion of national progress. The second agency under Scientific and Technological Service Institutes is the FIBOX or the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology. The Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology is a service institute of the Department of Science and Technology that is principally mandated to mitigate disasters that may arise from volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, tsunami, and other related geotectonic geotec phenomena. The third agency under Scientific and Technological Service Institute is the SEI or the Science Education Institute. The Science Education Institute formulates plans and establishes programs and projects for the promotion and development of science and technology education and training in the field of science and technology in coordination with other institute, institutions of learning. The SEI is to develop a critical mass of highly trained science and technology manpower by administering scholarships to awards and grants in science and technology and formulating and implementing plans for the promotion, development, and improvement of science and technology education and training. The fourth agency under the Scientific and Technological Service Institute is the STII or the Science and Technology Information Institute. STII was created as the information and marketing arm of the Department of Science and Technology by virtue of Executive Order Number 128 of the year January 30, 1987, which reorganized the National Science and Technology Authority, now the DOST. The Institute has the responsibility to implement the following mandates. First is to establish a science and technology data bank and library, to disseminate science and technology information, and to undertake training on science and technology information. The SDII is the marketing arm of the Department of Science and Technology and a leading repository of science and technology information and the data in the country. The fifth and last agency under the Scientific and Technological Service Institute is the TAPE or the Technological Technology Application and Promotion Institute. Is one of the DOST's service agencies whose primary responsibility is to promote the commercialization of technologies and market the services of other operating units of the department. So that's the end of the last topic, which is the science and technology agencies. Studies of science and technology provide students with insight into how different processes of knowledge are initiated and progressed, and how innovative techno technological processes are developed, employed, and increased in importance. Studies of science and technology gives insight into the understanding and knowledge of technology, science, and knowledge from the viewpoint of the humanities in the social sciences. Throughout the course of study, students will become familiar with amendments of social and cultural analysis,
of modern science and technology in interaction with social, political, economical, and cultural processes of change. In this manner, students will be provided with academic basis for working with detailed analysis of different forms of technologies in processes of knowledge within business life or industry and commerce research and research related work, political development, management of knowledge and innovation.